Diana follows me at facebook.com slash Dave Ramsey. How can someone improve their credit score when there's no debt? Uh, you can't. And that's a good thing. We need to understand what a FICO score is. The FICO score has, according to FICO's website, four elements to it. How much debt you have, the kind of debt you have, how you pay your debt. It's all about debt. So your FICO score, I ran into a guy this week and he said, no, Dave, I, I don't really need your information. I have an 850 FICO score. I'm doing fine. And it wasn't a situation where I, it was a social situation where I couldn't really laugh at him in his face. So I just nodded and said, okay, and walked away because there was no, I, I didn't have time, nor did I have the footing in this conversation to, to completely expose the ridiculous thinking that that represents. Let me help you with that. An 850 FICO score does not mean you have money. It does not mean you have an income. It does not mean you have wealth. All it means is you have paid hundreds of thousands of dollars in interest to the bank. It's the only possible way to get an 850 FICO score. You have to have a lot of debt, have had it a long time, and have paid it perfectly. And stayed in debt religiously. As a matter of fact, you've borrowed money just to keep your FICO score up. To be at that level. Now, does that make sense? Well, let's think about it. The number one key to building wealth is having your income to invest instead of having committed it to other people. That means gotten into debt. When you don't have any payments, you have money to invest and to be generous with. And all the data points tell us that that is the fastest way to build wealth. All the research gives us that. Plus, common sense tells you that. So once we understand that the fastest way to become wealthy is to be out of debt, and we understand secondarily that the FICO score is 100% built off of your relationship with debt, if you have a high, fi high, high FICO score, it means you've been playing kissy face with the bank a lot. Once you understand that, the FICO score is not an I'm good with money score. It's not an I'm wealthy score. It's an I love debt score. And I'm really good at borrowing and paying back a lot of debt over a long period of time score. Which is a stupid way to score whether you're winning with money. So when the guy goes, well, I'm doing okay, I've got an 850 credit score. What he really meant was, I'm pretty stupid. I'm giving the bank a lot of money and I don't have any likely. Because the shortest Distance between two points is a straight line. That straight line is debt-free. I have my income. I can put it into investments. So, my point being, my credit score, very proudly, is indeterminable. Which is the FICO score people way of saying, I have a zero score. Why do I have a zero score? I have had no debt, no accounts open of any kind, for a very long time. If you only will do business with me or loan me money based on my FICO score, we can't do business. I don't have a FICO score. Because I don't borrow money. Because not being in debt is the fastest way to become wealthy. So your goal should not be... How can I keep my credit score up? How can I build my credit? Because building your credit is I'm going to borrow money. Why? So later I have the opportunity to borrow money. Why? So that I can borrow more money. Why? So I can stay in debt and make those towers in the skyline be owned by somebody else because I gave them my working life's income. You're being ruled over by banks. They're telling you what to do. They're managing your life. They've built it into the culture to the point that people actually walk around bragging about their I love debt score. What a great job the banking industry has done teaching you to be in debt and stay in debt, which is where they make all their money. The credit card is the most marketed product in the history of the world. 
more money has been spent selling you credit cards, marketing you credit cards than any other product in the history of the world. And it worked. You all have one or two or 22. It worked. Don't you feel stupid? Don't you feel manipulated? Don't you feel used? You should. You're a slave. The borrower is slave to the lender. So don't improve your credit score. Have a goal of having everything paid off and every account closed. And then somewhere around six months later, your credit score will be fabulously indeterminable. Zero. How would I get a house? How would I get a house? Well, two possibilities then. You'd have to get a mortgage with someone that doesn't use a credit score to issue a mortgage, which is a mortgage company who actually knows how to write mortgages the old-fashioned way. It's called manual underwriting, like Churchill Mortgage does. Or you'd have to save up and pay cash. <gasps> how can you do that? No, you pay cash for a house. You just tell people not to buy houses. You're just unrealistic. Dave Ramsey is unrealistic. Y yeah. Yeah, I am. And I live that way. I live in an unrealistic world where I've become unrealistically wealthy managing money God's ways. It works every time. So you have to be like that young couple I ran into. He was an engineer and she's a teacher. Just talked to him the other day. They're young. They're making a lot of money for a young couple. So they're unusual, granted. But they're making right around 100 and they're, you know, 24 years old when they started. They had no dad, and they decided they were not going to borrow money for a house. So they lived in an apartment, a garage apartment, out back of a rich old lady's house. He cut the rich old lady's grass and kept her gutters cleaned out, and the rent was almost free because of that. Their friends made fun of them. Their parents thought they needed counseling. But they made 100 and their rent was $250 a month in a nice city in a nice neighborhood. But it's a garage apartment out top of the, over the top of a garage out back of a lady's house. It was, not, it was not fabulous. And you know what they did? They saved. Almost. Well, I mean, they, I think they saved right at $50,000 a year for four years. And they paid cash for a $200,000 house when they were 28. But everybody made fun of them. Now, if you're making by then $125,000 a year and you're 28 or 30 years old and you never have a house payment the rest of your life, do you know how rich you're going to be? See why you don't need a FICO score? Hello, are you starting to catch on to these numbers? This is real. So don't improve your FICO score. Set out to destroy it as quickly as possible by being 100% debt-free with all accounts closed as soon as you possibly can. So, kind of countercultural, isn't it? Well, the Bible says that. It says, be not conformed to this world. Don't be like everybody else, but be transformed. How are you transformed? The renewing of your mind. You need ideas that are different than everybody else's ideas. Normal is broke. 78% of Americans live paycheck to paycheck. The foreclosure rate is at an all-time high. The bankruptcy rate is at an all-time high. And the number one cause of divorce in America today is money fights and money problems. Do you want to be normal? Normal sucks. Why would you want to be normal? Whatever everybody else is doing, you want to do exactly the opposite, don't you? Otherwise, you're going to be just like them. If you do what they do, you're going to be just like them. So go run up your FICO score if you want to be broke your whole life. Go worry about your I love debt score if you want to be broke your whole life. You'll be broke, mathematically. It's a proven freaking fact. Or you can be different than everyone else. Be weird, don't be normal. Mm, that's what winning is.